When most people are talking about God, they're looking for Him in the extraordinary. They're looking for Him in the spiritual experience, maybe the inner affirmation, or something mystical, or like a miracle. However, one of the things that we've been learning in this class on the spirituality of the cross is that God is actually found in the ordinary things. And this week we're going to be looking at this idea of vocation, or our callings, and what it is to be a Christian living in two kingdoms, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of this world. And what we're going to learn this Thursday night at 7 p.m. here in the Chapel of the Holy Cross is that God actually works through our ordinary lives. He works through your calling to be a businessman. He works through your calling to be a teacher. He works through your calling to be a parent. He works even through your calling to be a son or a sibling. So join us, won't you, this Thursday evening here as we wrap up our June class on the spirituality of the cross at 7 p.m. We're going to be looking at the doctrine of vocation and the doctrine of two kingdoms. Should be a great evening filled with lots of wonderful conversation. Creative Arts Camp starts tomorrow, and as we get to it, there's just a few things you should know. If you'd like to make a donation, we're looking for small bottles of water and pre-packaged snacks like pretzels. No dairy or nuts, please. Information on where that goes is found in your bulletin. For those already registered, please check in at Calvary Church at 3.30 on Monday so that we're able to begin our program promptly at 4. And of course, continued prayer from the parish is indispensable. Thanks again for all your support. It's going to be a fantastic week, and we couldn't have done it without your help. Join the Parish of Calvary St. George's on Sunday, July 1st, for our Independence Day lunch, and let's get a jump on the 4th. We'll gather with friends for a time of fellowship at 12.30 p.m. in Anderson Hall, featuring classic American cuisine, patriotic music, and live video fireworks. That's right, live videos of fireworks. If you plan on attending, we're asking for a suggested donation of $10 a person or $20 a family. Or just bring something to contribute. If your last name starts with A through J, bring some drinks or chips. K through R, how about some green salad or potato salad? And S through Z, watermelon or dessert? If you do plan on bringing something, please contact us as outlined in the announcement section of your bulletin. We want you to come Sunday, 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 the 1st of July, as we celebrate the anticipation of the signing of our nation's independence declaration. We'll see you there. <laughs>